Hey guys, welcome to a quick little video here, an overview of my BB. This is the beta version, I believe. Uh, 1.8. Don't quote me on that. I'll give you a brief introduction and overview of everything that's going on. Now my form is going to be a little bit different than yours, so uh, don't be uh, looking too much at the detail on like the forum names and lobby and stuff like that. So just ignore that. Alright, so I just wanted to go over an overview on how easy it is to use my BB with any type of website or forum or community. Uh, firstly, uh, I've been out of the um, coding and programming world for a while now, so making pages and stuff would normally be a little difficult for me. But with my BB, it makes it very, very simple. So I just want to go over a quick little uh, overview on the my BB software, especially since it's a, a beta version. It and I want to show you how easy it is to use still. If I can, oh, I did it wrong again. Hold on, give me a minute. Alright, so I'm t I don't know why it does that, but. Alright, so you see I logged in here, and the logo was normal, might be no logo. Uh, I've had this one for a while though, so I just replaced the file in the uh, images folder. It should be logo.png. Um. It goes, welcome back, blah, blah, blah. And you have, as an admin, I have UCP, mod CP, and admin CP. Moderators have just mod CP, which is moderated control panel. And admins have the admin control panel as well. Normal users will only see the uh, user control panel, and that is it on this bar. Aside from your buddy list, new posts, and stuff like that over here on the right. Uh, the search feature, I've seen where you can integrate it with... Uh, Google AdSense and make uh, make it a paid search type bar. Me, I don't I don't really care. It's not my thing. This is a community forum. It's a free forum, not a paid. One moment, I have cats tramping on me. All right, so continue on. There are a few nice features of my BB. Um, Let's go ahead and show you a few. All right, so at the bottom, of course, you got your who's online board stats. Normally, you would have um, what is it? Your uh, form stats, which would be like page compression and how how long it took to load the page. That's good if you're diagnosing and trying to figure out what works best with your server or host. Some people it's different. Others it's uh, a little bit harder than others. So let's go ahead and go into the admin panel. I gotta log in again, one moment. Alright, so. Let's see, what do you want to start with? Alright, so on your dashboard, you automatically, with no matter what version you have, you'll have your MyBB version, which I'm. There's beta version 1.7. Alright, and then you have your PHP version, which the server controls that. Uh, if you do not own your server and you're just using a regular registrar or a host for your uh, website, you will not be able to change that. So, some things may or may not work as good as others if this is less than 5.3.3 um, in fact like if you have PHP 4 then it may not work um, MySQL is the same way I have the approved version 5.1 uh, server load is minimal there's no one else on the server with me and let's go ahead and below that you'll have my BB announcements again over here on the left you'll see um, the admins online and it's going to show their IP next to it So with that, let's go ahead and I want to show you how easy it was to actually edit and add pages. Let's go back to the form real quick. I'm going to show you a brief overview page of uh, how I made it. Alright, so there is a tutorial or guide on my BB forms that allows you to do this. It's uh, adding custom pages. And um, you can actually add a nav bar if you want. That's in the actual default templates, I believe. So let's go ahead and go back to here. Go into templates. Global templates is what you'd be adding all your new pages to. Alright, let's back it up. Okay, default templates. It had the templates where you would add the. Uh, header slash navigation. So, let's go back to template sets and global templates. I'm going to show you an outline of how the normal custom pages template looks. You have right here. HTML head, title, head, body, and you have the header 
basically what this is, is it grabs it from my BB and puts it into your page for you as far as let's go back to files over here I'm going to show you a brief overview on the file on the PHP file that is on what it looks like um, if I can find it real quick for you let's go with this one right here alright so now again it's going to look a lot different than yours so Go with WordPad. Open that with WordPad. All right, so I'm just opening in WordPad real quick. I could open in Dreamweaver, but I don't feel like it right now. So, what you need to do if your pages aren't in the same folder as your forum or my BB, you will need to put this line right here, which is stating that you need to look for my BB in the forum folder, which is a directory or a subdirectory of my main directory. Um, and then this is the regular part of the file right here define in my BB of course which is required for security and then require the global which is basically the whole outline of commands and settings for my BB such as like the header and uh, footer files and then your breadcrumb is going to be this pa piece right here that'll add the title right here and then f underneath the forums you can remove it if you want, it's not required. Um, here is what grabs the template from this. So global templates is grabbed right here at this line. And then since you don't have anything showing at the moment, if you just saved it as is with the ending right here, it won't show a page. But if you put this right here, you'll output the whole page and everything in it onto a file, which is uh, my index.php. So let's go ahead and close that and let's go back to configuration. Server so optimization is another good thing to use. You have uh, page compression, gzip page compression, which allows you to basically shrink down files. Um, now it does take a load onto the server, so check with your web host to see if you can use this or not. If so, what's the highest level you can use? The higher the number, the, the more the compression of the files on the page and the more load on the server. Um, if you want, I, I recommend that you use around a 4 to a 6. Alright, so then you have the SEO friendly right here. Don't really need anything on that. Other than that, I mean, MyBB has done very well for being a free software for allowing uh, a lot of this hard work and everything to be uh, easily configurable. Most of the time, like Vbolt and the RIPB is locked down and encoded so you can't really edit it unless you have a license so with that said that's my brief overview and introduction to my bb thanks for watching and have a great day